Welcome to the Banker Middle East Leadership Series. Today we're joined by Dr. Salim Sphere, Chairman and CEO of Bank of Beirut. Bank of Beirut is one of the largest banks in the country with total assets of $18.5 billion. Um, Dr. Sphere has led the bank for 26 years, taking the helm in 1993, and is currently one of the leading figures in the Lebanese banking sector. Today, Dr. Sphere will share with us his views on the financial and economic landscape in Lebanon following the recent establishment of the long-awaited government, as well as his plans for the bank going forward. Dr. Sphere, if we could begin with your views on the current economic climate in Lebanon, what is your biggest concerns for the year? Our biggest uh, hope for the year is uh, to see the newly formed government perform in the best manner to assist the economy of the country. As you know, in uh, Lebanon, there is a close relationship between the success of the government in place and uh, the success of the economy and the growth of the economy. Now, since the government is in place, life is getting back slowly to normal, but we are uh, still uh, on the outlook for a stable political cycle. So how has all that that you've mentioned impacted the financial services sector and banks in particular? The financial sector has been stagnant. We faced very high interest rates on the deposit and we were unable during that period to put a pricing on our loans. But uh, now uh, interest rates are getting back slowly to normal and uh, more funds are uh, coming back to the country from overseas investors. Okay, so looking at the rest of 2019, where do you see most of the bank's revenue coming from? Bank of Beirut, we, we are very diversified in terms of products, in terms of retail, in terms of treasury, in terms of asset management, in terms of life insurance. And we are also diversified in our international presence. We are present in Australia, we are present in London, we are present in Cyprus, Frankfurt and uh, the Sultanate of Oman, apart from Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And we are now in the process of uh, acquiring a new bank in Europe. So our uh, diversification is a plus for Bank of Beirut as it guarantees a, uh, a fixed yearly growth from the international operation as well as from the parabanking products. Mm -hmm. So for uh, the year 2019, in spite of what happened on uh, the local uh, arena, we are confident that we should be able to make out of it a very good year as in the past. Would you then say that most of your activities for the year would originate overseas or would you say that it will be balanced? No, our core within... business is in Lebanon. In Lebanon, yes, okay. Yes, but we that. rely on our revenue stream from overseas yeah. to uh, regularize mm -hmm. uh, the hecticity of our market. Our market is dependent upon the stability of uh, the internal politics. Of course. So recently, um, Bank of Beirut signed an agreement with the Special Economic Authority at Dukum. So if you could tell us more about this arrangement and are you looking to sign more similar nature deals within the region? The region, we are talking here about Oman. We are not present in the region because of uh, many restrictions on uh, the expansion of overseas banks in the region. However, in Oman, we are uh, present and we are uh, doing quite well. We have a network of uh, six branches in Oman and uh, DOCOM now is uh, a newly uh, created area by the, uh, the government of Oman. Uh, 
Dokom is a very sensitive place and plenty of investment from the government are being injected in Dokom. So we were the first foreign bank to put a foot in Dokom as well as we did in the past when we went to Sohar. As you know, Sohar is on the border of uh, Oman and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Dokom is on the other side. Yes, we are confident that we will do well in Dokom, not only well for us, but well for uh, the Omani economy. Dr. Sphere, with the establishment of the new government in Lebanon, have your strategic direction for the bank changed? The strategy of Bank of Beirut is based to offset, if you want, uh, the hecticity of uh, the local uh, politics. In Bank of Beirut, we have our short, medium and long-term plans that are completely independent from how successful is the government. And uh, all uh, our activities within the bank are based on how to best uh, take advantage of uh, the investment of our assets. No, we are not... Uh, pessimistic at all. Our investments in uh, Treasury, our investments in uh, the parabanking products, as well as our overseas investment, are doing very well. And uh, we hope that uh, we will uh, do as well as we did last year in, in uh, 2019. So as one of the leading banks in Lebanon then, on that positivity, definitely technology is something that's taking the world swiftly. So how do you see technology changing your operations and the local banking uh, landscape over the next five years? Bank of Beirut has invested over $80 million in the last three years in technology. And we are now, I think, uh, a, a strong player on the market in um, the new digital transformation arena. Our investment in technology is paying off. We have uh, been successful in putting together an online clearing system that is serving the people that are doing business with the Ports Authority as well as with the government. At the same time, we are serving our corporates through also another online uh, system that is helping them uh, collect their receivables in a much faster way and less expensive way. Along uh, the same lines, we have invested in the digital sector and we called our new apps uh, Digi, which is uh, mainly serving our millennial market and we have created a small network of hybrid branches that is taking advantage of both the traditional system as well as the digital system and it's helping those that are attached to the traditional system to move slowly but surely to the digital system and they are doing very well. And all this put together are assisting Bank of Beirut to make a much faster market penetration in the retail area. To conclude, Dr. Sphere, can you tell us what you're most optimistic about for 2019? At Bank of Beirut, we are always optimistic. We are optimistic in good times and we are more optimistic in difficult times because in uh, difficult times, we try harder. We try harder to offset the weaknesses of the market. And so far with our younger generation at the bank, we are uh, geared towards the future. This is why we have invested so much in technology and we continue to invest in our younger generation and in technology. As we said before, we have a new government in Lebanon. This government should be leading us to put in place the uh, 
Paris Agreement, the so-called CEDAR, in implementing new uh, way of uh, doing business in the country, a new way of uh, best managing our public affairs, and at the same time, in best um, investing the proceeds that are being placed at the disposal of the government, which are almost around $11.8 billion. This will give a big push to the Lebanese economy. Apart from uh, the micro side of the bank, which is well rooted to uh, take advantage of the macro situation, as well as from uh, its capacity to best invest its assets in people and uh, in products. That wraps up our chat for today. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Sphere. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.